as you know the liquids and gases do not have their own shape they acquire the shape of the container in which they are kept when you pour water in a glass it acquires the shape of a glass whereas when you put it in a bottle it assumes the shape of the bottle on the contrary the solids have definite shape and size of their own however the shape and size of solids changes if some external force is applied to them when the force is removed the solid regains its original shape and size this property of solids is called as elasticity the elastic behavior of solids plays an important role in the engineering design for example the knowledge of elastic behavior of steel and concrete is essential in the design of robust structures like buildings and bridges before we begin the study of elasticity in detail it is worth knowing the internal structure of solids solids are made up of atoms and molecules each molecule is surrounded by other molecules these are bounded by intermolecular forces and therefore stay in stable equilibrium position when an external deforming force is applied to the solid the solid is deformed that is its shape and size or both are changed in this situation the molecules are displaced from their stable position and thus the intermolecular distance between molecules is changed when the deforming force is removed the intermolecular forces make the molecules regain their original position of equilibrium thus the body regains its original shape and size the deformation and restoration mechanism based on molecules in solids can be explained very nicely in terms of a simple model consisting of springs and balls uh, here balls represent molecules and springs represent intermolecular forces if an external force is applied to a ball the ball will be displaced from its equilibrium position in this case the spring system will try to restore the ball back to its original position thus the elastic behavior of solids can be explained in terms of its microstructure consisting of atoms and molecules now let us go into more details consider an elastic body shown here molecules are at equidistance from each other there is attraction between molecules let us apply an external force to the body as a result every molecule starts moving in the direction of the force and therefore the shape and size of the body changes that is the body is deformed due to change in distance from their equilibrium position molecules create opposite restoring force the deformation of the body stops at the point when the restoring force equals the external deforming force robert hook was an english physicist who performed experiments on springs and found that the change in the length produced in the body is proportional to the applied force this is called as hooke's law let us now define some important terms related to the topic of elasticity deforming force is defined as the force applied on the elastic body which is responsible to deform that is uh, change the size and shape of the body we note that deformation is proportional to the deforming force let us understand the concept of internal restoring force under deformed condition every shifted molecule tries to achieve its original position 
when a body is deformed because of external force internal molecular forces are set up within the body which tend to oppose the changes in shape and size of the body now let us define an internal restoring force the force which is responsible to restore original size and shape of the body is called as an internal restoring force note that applied force is equal to internal restoring force body regains its original size and shape on removal of external deforming force if and only if external force is within a certain limit called as elastic limit if external force is too large then the intramolecular structure of the body collapses and there is a permanent deformation in the body that is body does not regain its original size and shape on removal of the external deforming force and the body loses its elasticity let us now know what are the factors that affect elasticity elasticity is material dependent this means that the elasticity of a given material is constant but it is different for different material thus elasticity is a characteristic or a property of a material solid materials are aggregation of large number of crystallites which are arranged in random manner the structure of the material determines its elastic property even though for a given material the elasticity is constant the following factors affect the elasticity temperature annealing hammering and rolling impurities and recurring stress now let us consider these factors one by one effect of temperature as the temperature of the material increases the elasticity of that material decreases similarly as the temperature of the material decreases the elasticity of that material increases uh, let us explain this by considering the molecular structure of the body as the temperature of the body increases the distance between molecules increases and hence intermolecular forces decreases thus the internal restoring force also decreases resulting in decrease of elasticity for example if lead is cooled it becomes elastic now let us consider the effect of annealing in the process of annealing the metal is heated and then cooled gradually uh, this reduces the elasticity of the material Uh, this can be explained like this due to annealing the smaller crystals which are present inside the body get oriented in a particular direction this process creates large crystal grains this softens the material and therefore the plasticity of the material increases but the elasticity of the material decreases uh, the next effect that we consider is effect of hammering and rolling on the material the material which have a smaller grains are stronger than the materials which have larger grains uh, due to the processes like hammering and rolling the large crystal grains are broken down into smaller grains therefore the elastic property of the material increases and plastic property decreases another effect which affects the elasticity is impurities that is effect of impurities when the impurities are added to the material its elastic property changes certain impurities increase the elasticity whereas other impurities decrease the elasticity for example to strengthen the elastic property of gold a little amount of potassium is added to it similarly to strengthen the steel a little amount of carbon is added when the steel is in molten state the last effect 
we will study is effect of recurring stress. If stress is repeatedly applied to the body, the softening of the material takes place. This process increases the plasticity of the material and decreases its elasticity.